A police raid this afternoon nets a dozen stolen cars and engines believed to have been stolen from an auto plant. Police say this house on Rutland Street near I-96 in the Southfield Freeway served as a chop shop and our Larry Sproul was there as police swarmed the place. A few stolen vehicles, a lot of stolen auto parts. Those were just some of the things police recovered from this home on Rutland Street Monday afternoon. Local 4, the first TV station on the scene, was there as police raided the home. Sergeant Otha Craig tells me a neighbor saw one of the suspects pushing a new car into his backyard. He then called 911. That's when they found about 12 cars in the back. Just take a look at some of the items police recovered from this illegal chop shop. You have engines right here and even a dashboard from a car. Now, police tell me this is not the first time they responded to this home. It's, it's, um, it's like the fourth, or I'm going to say maybe fifth time that They've had um, a raid, some type of a raid or whatever. Lisa lives across the street. She did not want to be on television, but she says she's frustrated. They get raided. They go away for maybe a year, sometimes just a few months, depending, and then they're back. But this time, it seemed like it was the biggest that we've ever seen. This gentleman here, he's been under investigation. He's been actually charged and convicted of um, chop shop in the past with the uh, Detroit police. Now, we mentioned before that this, that police have responded to this home multiple times. Police tell me this is number four and they just the beginning. We're live tonight, Larry Sproul, Local 4. So there were 12 cars stolen. Surely one person wasn't responsible for all of this. Larry, do we know how many arrests police made? Well, Kimberly, police tell me that they arrested at least five people in connection with this case. They are expecting them to be charged with multiple counts of operating a chop house. Unbelievable. All right, Larry.